the foundation and underneath the slab, on, you know, the slab that's on grade. And you have to protect all of those different sides of the box. And basically, there, there are four basic layers to any performing enclosure. You've got something that's going to shed bulk water, rain, snow, whatever. You've got something that's going to control air movement, which has become more and more important as uh, energy's gotten more expensive and we've gone to building tighter buildings. Something to control thermal, right? We want to keep all that heat in or all that heat out, depending on what environment you're in. And then finally, something to control vapor, if it's appropriate, depending on the environment. So, um, in theory, all, f all six sides need to have all four of those layers. Now, the layers can come in different fashions, right? Um, ball, you know, if you have an all glass enclosure, that glass is serving as your air control layer, it's serving as your vapor control layer, and it's also serving, uh, you know, for bulk water management, right? Everything just runs off. So that's pretty simple, right? That's a very simple enclosure. Gets more complex as you add, you know, in a house, right? Everybody can relate to a house. You may have siding on the outside. That's your shed, right? Your bulk water management. Behind that, you have some sort of uh, air control layer nowadays, right? And so that could be any of a number of different, you know, I have a couple sheet, sheet products here. Uh, this one's a little, got a crinkled surface to it. Uh, this one actually has some ribs and that's trying to promote drainage behind that cladding because some water eventually works its way through. And so you're trying to get that down. So that becomes one element. It kind of, it's a twofold product. Yep, yep. And then again, depending on your wall, you know, you have an insulation layer in there someplace, right? And it, we like to see them on the outside now, uh, outside of this layer, right? So you'll have this layer up against the house and you'll have insulation out here and then your cladding. Um, and that seems to perform the best in every environment, right? That's called, there's a term for it called the perfect wall. Um, and then if, if you need to have vapor control in that wall assembly because you have high humidity spaces or, you know, uh, let's say a hospital environment or something like that, or a uh, pool area, like your local YMCA or sure. gym or whatever, um, those are very challenging environments because once that moisture goes into those wall assemblies, it does bad things. And so you're always trying to control that movement. You know, that's, that's the, whole, the whole science of it is trying to control that movement of heat, air, and moisture, really. Okay, great. Yep. So then from element from the foundation up, you also have to treat the foundation pretty much the same way. Just the same way, right. And so you're going to have the structure, right, and concrete usually. It could be block depending where you're at. And then uh, insulation, maybe not as much, you know, because the ground is not as, you know, say it's, you're five feet down, it's 55 degrees, it's not minus 10. Sure. So you don't necessarily need as much insulation. But you still want to promote drainage. And so, you know, this is like a drainage fabric. So the crinkly side would go up against the wall. This side goes up against, the, you know, the insulation would be there. And again, if you get any water behind there, you're going to have a waterproofing membrane or something on that foundation to keep the water out. This drains it down into your weep tile. Or if you're fortunate enough and you got daylight, you know, it takes it out and outside. So, and then... Even underneath the slab itself, uh, if you want to have a nice finished basement, you want to put carpet down there or wood flooring or something, you don't want all that moisture that's in the ground coming up through the slab. So you actually put a control layer underneath that. You know, most of the time it's some kind of polyethylene sheet all the way across there. And if you want to keep it warm, you throw a couple inches of insulation underneath that too. And now you've got all six sides. Well, actually we talked about five of them, right? The four sides and the bottom. And then the roof, it's the same thing. You're, you've got a water layer, some kind of thermal layer, and you're controlling air from getting up into that roof. The, the same holds true for the roof. You have the sheathing water barrier on the walls, and then the roof really becomes an extension of those elements. Correct, correct. Yeah, and it all needs to tie together. I think that's, that's one of the common, common problems in, mo in most construction is you've got all these different elements, but they've all got to marry together. Continuity is the, the term that we always use. Uh, talking about an envelope integrity, right? So the air barrier and the wall has got to tie to the air control system in the window and then back when it gets to the other side of the window. And, and similarly, the rain screen or cladding all has to kind of tie together. And that's got to go around all six sides again to keep the inside in and the outside out. At the Carpenter's Apprentice and Training Center, instructor Craig Triplett explains the elements of the building envelope. 
Hours in the classroom assure safety and building code compliance on projects requiring trained carpenters. Craig, I appreciate you meeting with us. Thanks for coming, Bruce. You want to kind of give us a brief overview where we start? Sure, sure. We're standing in front of our advanced framing wall here where it's basically a, a typical um, wooden structure where we actually have uh, our, our spacing spaced properly so that everything basically transfers. Meaning, on top of my foundation wall that's concrete, I have basically a mud sill, then I have my floor joists, then I have my sheathing, and my studs stack on top of my floor joists, transferring the weight.